everyone you're yeah, welcome back to my channel my name is Helen and in today's video we'll be diving deep into a topic that can be a game changer when it comes to managing your AWS account have you ever had that moment where you realize you were being charged for services you forgot to delete yeah almost all of us have been there let's be honest it is not actually the most pleasant surprise but fear not I've got you covered in today's video I'm gonna show you three ways through which you can actually view your running services in AWS and understand the associated costs. Trust me, this knowledge can save you not only the money but also a lot of headache down the road. So if you are ready to take control of your AWS account and gain a better understanding of what is happening under the hood, keep watching. This is my AWS management console and I'm signing as a root. Please ensure you're signing as a root user, okay? If you're just an IAM user, you will not really have access to the billing um, to the billing information or the billing dashboard. So once you come here, I'm gonna go ahead and type billing and billing is already showing here. So I'll click on this. And once you come to the page, just click on bills and over here i'm gonna scroll down and you see um charges by service okay so here it will show you all the active services and the associated costs so over here you can see i have total active services and they are nine <laughs> They are nine and these are the services I have listed over here. Okay, CloudWatch, Data Transfer. For you to view the associated costs, for you to really view the content and the visuals running under here, you can just click on it to expand it and it will show you the, uh, the region, okay? So in this region, you can still click on the region to expand it. I don't really have any costs associated to this okay so this is how you keep expanding to see what you really have but you can actually collapse all in case you don't really want to waste your time expanding all to see what you have you can just expand all so it will collapse all the services the regions and all okay so this are uh, the services and the associated costs so for instance i have elastic load balancer running and as you can see on the um us east one north virginia i have the cost and so this is how you can just expand and view all the associated costs in your active services I believe this is not really a better um, dashboard for you to visualize, um, let's say the daily cost, the hourly cost, stuff like that. So we have a better um, cost management tool where you can actually visualize these services and the cost better. So to get there, just come by the left, the left navigation pane and under cost management, I'm going to take you to cost explorer. So click on cost explorer. And I'm going to click on View Cost Explorer. Okay, so in this page, you can actually um, visualize the resources and the cost. So we actually have um, filters here by the right. So um, uh, the point of recording this video, this is August. And this month is actually, this date range is showing from July to August. So if I want to um, view my services as well as the cost for this month i can actually select the date range that i want so from tuesday 1st to um 21st of august you can just select it like this and if i scroll down um you can see apply here so i'll apply it and the only cost is, is, is going to show me is the cost for this month alone. All right. So if you want to view your three months cost, just select the months you want. Right. Select the months, let's say from Sunday, June to um, August. This is the last day of August. This is today's date, actually. So I'm going to select this and it will just um, help you to, you know, 
get the range from that month till now so I'll, I'll apply it okay but just to show you but let me go back because I'm just interested in this month's uh, billing and the services so I'm gonna apply it so here you actually have the freedom to select how depends on what you want to view and all that okay so this group by um under dimension you can actually select by service so that you can see your services as well as the cost and um service you can actually be specific if you want to just view the the ec2 instances running and the cost you can select the service here but i don't want to select i just want to view all the services so and if you have linked account you can actually select it as well uh, coming to aws region over here i would like to select um us east um that is not virginia this is actually the region i like um deploy my services in so i've selected it and i'll click on apply and yeah we actually have much filters you know that you can go for having applied these filters if i scroll down okay i can actually close out this so you can expand this area this is a better view and these are my services these are my current services and we can see how much they are consuming okay so cost and usage breakdown elastic container service 47 dollars 30 cent this is actually very massive only this month alone but that is fine i actually have a workload i'm running over there so um it's fine <laughs> so i'm aware all these services are actually intentional but i actually want to delete some of them and i just decided to you know to make a video on that before i go ahead to to delete some of the services i don't um, need anymore so um august 1st you can see how the, cha the charges has been going every day from august 1st to um august 21st which is today and ec2 instance uh, you can see the charge and yeah so this is all this is the detail of the services and their cost so you can actually go ahead and download it as um csv okay lastly i'm going to show you the third way through which you can visualize your active services in aws and actually go ahead to delete them if you wish so at uh, the search bar i'm gonna type resource group resource group and tag editor great so i'll click on this so once you get to this page i want you to click on tag editor on the tag editor um you can actually find your resources all right so um on that regions you can select the region you're interested in so let's say you have all your services in north virginia you can select that my own is already filtered um if you want to select all the regions you want to view all the active services in all the regions you are good to go right okay you can, you can select all the regions and the resource type you can actually select all supported resource types and to just show you all the active okay before it can show you you need to click on search resources and it will start loading all the resources we show here this is actually still loading it is a lot and it's not actually all of them that has um, you know associated costs most of this stuff running here don't really have calls that is associated to them all right because you know in regions we have subnets that are active we have um, default vpc and all those stuff so i basically know that i only have nine active services in my account a lot this is a lot so i want to select the region that i'm sure of where my you know services are running great so and the resource type so i believe i have um ecs running so i'm gonna click on ecs so that it can uh, i can visualize my cluster go ahead and click on search resources and you can see my ecs cluster is here i can go ahead and click on this so it will take me to my ecs cluster 
and because I'm actually done with this cluster, I can go ahead and you know delete the service and then delete the delete the cluster. All right, so I've successfully shown you the ways through which you can view your active services in AWS, the associated cost, and also the way through which you can use um, resource group and tag editor to locate those resources and go ahead to terminate them in case you don't need them any longer. It actually help to save you from unnecessary headache, from billings, from getting unnecessary alerts and all that. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, comment on this video and as well, subscribe to this channel if you are yet to do so. Click on that notification bell so you don't get to miss out on any of my subsequent videos. Thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.